I think this play, for my money, expresses many subtleties of the traumatic situation that South Africans find themselves in now. What I find really interesting is this idea you have about how the past, what was it, faded away? Because that suggests to me that there are no consequences to people's actions and that idea, I find it repugnant. <laughs> Strong word, look smart. You say you have a clear conscience about the past. Few of us can say that. How easily you let yourself off the hook. At the basis of it all, of course, this eternal trauma of the black and white uh, theme that, that besets the beloved country. Ah, madam, this is a strange country we live in. For your generation, you whites, you still want to be the mothers and fathers, and we must remain the children. That our relationship, it must have no place in the future of this country. We've had this extraordinary work by J.M. Kutsia, Disgrace, which is a very bleak, bleak view of South Africa. So bleak that I think he's left the country. Um, you know, which is a shame because it's the kind of place where none of us should have left, really. And the great tragedy is that we've all left. There are, individu there are always individuals who, you know, send out some extraordinary book, like Kevin Bloom's book, which I think is pretty remarkable about what it's like to be there um, after somebody you love and know and has been related to you was murdered. Everybody knows somebody to whom something has happened. So it, I think it is a traumatized place. I think it is a dangerous place. I think there's a fantastic amount of amazing people there. It seems in its life that it's full of extremities. Suddenly the worst people you know in the world and the best people you know in the world all seem to be around there.